we exercise certain duties and responsibilities. Uh, and we, as a result of that, state is saying we have funds that we would like to inject in a country, but we want to be sure as to how it is organized. Clear transparency. They're making these arguments. And I, I learned about it, like I said, because I was in different meetings with, with, with some of the people from France who are making decisions. So, and, and, and that is hampering the, the, the economic growth uh, of the country because if you have less funds to invest in supporting um, young men or young women with, with, with business projects, you're supposed to be able to provide some kind of assistance to young men or young women who want but to. But they got the funding for that, and you were there, they said they, they, yes. they got millions now to, to, to do that. <laughs> Yeah. But here's the thing, it was that the kind of program that would have been interesting if it, were, it was put in place since 2018. But it's only now because we have elections next year is when you will see these economic programs in place. Mm -hmm. And I've been asking, I've been saying from the opposition bench, what are we doing to empower our people to make sure that 10 years from now, five, ten years from now, we, the St. Martins, become the owners or the entrepreneurs in the country. Because you know me, as a young boy growing up in Marigot, all the businesses in Marigot were St. Martin people owned businesses. Right. I mean, you know that well. This is not the case today. In all those stores in Marigot, you, have, you could like, count on your fingers, and your fingers, your five fingers would, would be too much to count among the local businesses in Marigot. Right. Both so, sides of the island. Well, <laughs> well, I, for now, I'm referring to, for, to nine and a half. And where, where, are the, where are the business initiative, you know, in terms of economic policy to get to empower St. Martin people? That's my concern here. Now, you said well, there are some things that I would, I would say it, 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 it's, not, it's reasonable and acceptable, but it has to be now reinforced. But in all fairness, the way you, yeah. you have on, on France and Martin, uh, locals that own cable television stations, internet service providers. We don't have that on this side. Oh, okay, but then again, um, they didn't wait on sub government subsidies. They, mm -hmm. you know, they tie the soil. They work hard to get that done, and I and I welcome their initiative and I applaud their efforts. But again, there will be others who would need some a push mm -hmm. from government, and that is where the local government has to be very powerful and very much. But they committed. got the money now. Understand to do that, so they're gonna. Pump. Well, no, well, well like, I, like I said, what I'm saddened about is the fact that yeah. because we have elections, now you understand how critical and how urgent it is to assist.